Hey over there, it's your lunchbox. I'm Joy and Erica. And today we have landed right here in Cabazon, California. Now, right now, I might be a little stuttering more than usual. I was I'm so fangirling out. Um, being a child of the 80s, same with Joy, we grew up watching some classic movies. One, Pee Wee's Big Adventure with Pee Wee Herman. Two, for me, the Wizard with Fred Savage. In both of those movies, this attraction right here was featured. So we're gonna go uh, check them out. Ready to explore Mr. Rex's dinosaur adventure? Step right up, let's go for this ride. Two main focal points. Right here we have Diddy the dinosaur. And over here we have Rex. Both of these dinosaurs were made by an artist named Claude Bell. He was originally one of the sculptors and creators in Knott's Berry Farm. But then he decided, what do I want to do? And they came here and he bought a spot called the Wheel and Cafe, which was featured in the Pee Wee Herman movie. You remember that diner, right? That's when he walked in, he went, Large Marge sent me. And then he found out that Large Marge's been dead and a ghost drove him all the way. Ooh, spooky. Then Pee Wee was here. And he went up in the dinosaur. Him and Simone, and all of a sudden, Simone went, Oh no, it's my boyfriend Andy. And he was like, Your boyfriend Andy? Because they were, they were looking out from the top of the dinosaur mouth, and we're going to be in there. But, but back, back, back to telling you about about Claude Bell. So in 1964, Claude first made Dinny here at a cost of right for this, $300,000. It took him 11 years. After that, he built Mr. Rex, that, that T-Rex that you're seeing. There was supposed to be a giant woolly mammoth here, but Mr. Bell passed away in 1988 and it never came, never was made. Joy. Enough history. You ready to go inside some dinosaurs? Oh, thank goodness. All right, let's do it. We're gonna go in Diddy first. It's supposedly the gift shop. Then we're gonna go check out everything else for today. Joy, we're standing under the dinosaur. I'm really here. Out of the desert, Cabazon, California, where this club has spent about 250,000, 12 years building this enormous sculpture concrete dinosaur, which also houses a small museum built mainly to amuse and delight children. Dinny has become a popular and interesting tourist attraction. Look, Joe, we have a mini Dinny. A mini Dinny. Sarah, we have some fossils. Oh. Here we have a Peking man from 200,000 years ago. <laughs> I like this. Stegosaurus meets plus grizzly bear equals Godzilla. And I figured while we're in Dini, we'll talk more about two movies with the one I preferred. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love, love, love Pee Wee's Herman Big Adventure, but I was a Nintendo kid. And when The Wizard came out in 1989, that was more or less a movie that was a commercial for Super Mario Brothers 3. Here is Fred Savage, played Corey and his little brother in the movie, a character named Jimmy. Now, they were going around the country because Jimmy was a little mentally unstable after their sister died and parents were going through divorce and they went across the country to win a, a video game tournament where Jimmy was gonna play Super Mario Bros. But when the family was together, Jimmy got restless in the car and they pulled over and they ran up and Jimmy hid right inside Dinny's neck over here. And that's when the family realized that this is the last spot. They were all together as a family before the sister died, before the divorce. And that's why this spot was so important to little Jimmy. And just remember about Super Mario Brothers 3, Joy. Mm -hmm. It's more than a game. It's a chance of a lifetime. 
150,000 years ago, Neanderthal man. 400,000 years ago, Java man. And 30,000 years ago, Cro-Magnon man. Now all this stuff that you see with the evolutions of the face and the evolution of man is going to be interesting, going to be questioned in a few minutes when we get to Mr. Rex's dinosaur adventure. Look at all this stuff, it's so cool. I like this, this giant snake here. It looks like at one point he would have been a spotlight shining up at Denny. It's open, yes, his jaws are wide open. Oh, we got a little misting. Dino Dig Museum T Rex Penny Press. Look, do we have some more dinosaurs here? Look, we have a, a mini Dinny and a mini Let Rex. This turtle better watch out. T Rex is going to come nibble on his tail. Komodo dragons, too? And all these guys, they're just peeking over the fences. Stegosauruses, two T Rex. And it looks like a triceratops that someone stole his front horn. I don't know what kind of guy he is. Do not proceed without tickets. It's a good thing we got tickets. Of course. But you know, I think I lost them. <gasps> I'm joking, they're right here. Additional feet, take a ride on a robotic. T-Rex weight restrictions apply. Wah, wah, wah. Hello, and welcome to Mr. Rex's Dinosaur Adventure. To your left is our store, featuring an array of dinosaur merchandise and static and robotic dinosaurs. We don't want it to eat us. The the Do I want to ride T Rex? But I definitely am not under 80 pounds. <laughs> Get it? Hatch? Because I'm in an egg and I'm, I'm hatching. It's a joke. Because now I'm explaining my joke, which is the second part of my joke. <laughs> I went over here against the egg and this this guy started talking to me. Yeah, I heard you, buddy. I heard you. Oh. He's like my grandpa. Do you want to meet my grandpa? Here he is. Ooh. Styrosaurus. This part's cool, Joy. From this to this. Oh yeah. These these silver mining dinosaurs are gonna crush a penny for me. There goes my penny, see it? Mm. Got it. Yay. So we got, we got Dinny. Now we have to get.
Uh, we have alligators hanging off triceratopses. Look at them all. Miniature large, look. He is a plant eater. He's eating right now. Oh, look, these two. They're in love. They're about to give a little kiss. This is amazing joy. Dinosaurs that inspired the appearance of Godzilla, along with Stegosaurus and Iguanodon, Tyrannosaurus Rex. It was one of the three dinosaurs that inspired Godzilla. Do you see him? We have a hummingbird. Hummingbird just getting some flowers. Right past me? Right by the dinosaurs. Ooh. Sarochus. It's commonly known as super croc. When fully mature. Wow, imagine that. 37 to 40 feet long, weighing eight tons. That's crazy. We have the Veloc Velociraptor. Ah. Was a predator that probably hunted in packs. We have another one here. See, he's the sneak attack, Joy. You think, oh, and there's one behind me coming after me. There's one of those super crocs. Brachiosaurus. It's often considered to be the largest dinosaur known. 82 feet in length. Its head was 42 feet above ground. The Stegosaurus. Two spiked ridges. I always thought he was cool. I thought he was a punk rock that had a mohawk. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we have another super croc. That's interesting. Tyrannosaurus rex was one of the several dinosaurs featured in the 1974 Doctor Who adventure, Invasion of Dinosaurs. Yeah. Yes, I know, King of the Tyrant Lizards. Yeah, uh, King of the Tyrant Lizards. Tyranno means tyrant in Greek, and Saurus means lizard in Greek. And rex means king in Latin. Ah. So you have Greek and Latin there. So you're the king? He ain't nothing but a dino. Going extinct all the time. But it's about to happen. We're about to go into Rex. But Joy, I want to show you something that very few people know about this. If you look at Rex, you see this crack on his back? Yeah. Going up about halfway? Yeah. When he was first made, that was a slide for kids. What? It was just too crazy of an angle that they closed it. I do not know if anyone has ever gone down it before they closed it or they build it and go, no, that's a bad idea and close it before anyone got a chance to go down it. Mm. I wish there was still a slide. I'd be the fool that goes down it. That is crazy. A myth perpetuated by the popular Jurassic Park film is that the T-Rex could run at high speeds. He was represented in popular Transformers series as Grimlock and an Autobot that could transform into a powerful T-Rex. I remember having I love the coloring right inside, like you're in his guts. Yeah. This hole right here is where back in the day, you would Fred Flintstone it all the way down that slide. Like the opening of the Flintstones when Fred's leaving work. Do you get to scream Yabba Dabba Doo? Oh, I'm sure you would be screaming a lot of different things if that slide was real. <laughs> Ooh. So, they're not labeled anymore. But if you're looking over here, these were just different theories of what made dinosaurs extinct. You so see, you have an ice age, and this is all the volcanoes and all of that. Almost at his mouth. Wow. 
Now, if you saw that Pee Wee Herman movie, when him and Simone were up on here, looking out, it was a lot bigger. They didn't string Pee Wee Herman down. They actually built a separate mouth that they used to symbolize this area. I thought it was going to be like Alice in Wonderland, like the eat me, drink me. That's what I thought. Or unless did Rex eat something for that shot. It must be cool. See these, these red lights coming by at night, watching his eyes glow red. Just look at this. I'm in the dinosaur's mouth. This has been a lifelong dream since I've been four years old watching Kiwi's Big Adventure. And it's happened. I'm in Rex's mouth. Look out and see everything. Even it's sad to say, over there was where the diner, that large march dropped them off the wagon wheel restaurant. They still have the sign, eat. The diner's no more there, but still the memories. We made it down. Look at this. A giant cement turtle. This guy is cool. Joy, mm -hmm. people get it wrong. Why? It's not a stag party. It's a stag party. Oh no. Ah, I think he got a little too drunk at the party. He got turned into a taxidermy head mount. Oh. I heard of the movie Gorillas in the Mist, but have you heard of the film Lunchbox in the Mist? Oh, that feels so good. So good. It is hot out. I'm glad we're here, but it doesn't make it any less hot. I love the mixes of, of stuff like Komodo dragons and dinosaurs. Well, weren't they at one point? They're nowadays. I don't know if they were around back then. Or different I know this guy was. Look at him. Spinosaurus. Ah. Ooh, I like this guy's coloring. One of my other favorites, Triceratops. Literally means three horned face. Joy, look. What? He weighed 13,000 pounds to 26,000 pounds. Yeah. I almost weigh the same amount as, as, as the Triceratops. I'm joking. Joy, watch out. I see why they have these warning signs. Don't go in the grass because of wildlife. There's little alligators. Yeah. Basically saying that if their fossils were found like in groups so obviously they're known to be like stay hurt. together because they were that t-rex he's such a loser he always fails in gym class he can't do pull-ups his little arms eat 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 oh, oh. he's mm. behind me i see yeah i'm, I'm, I'm sorry buddy Ooh, dino dig. All I have to do is find two rocks with dinosaurs' names on. We win free prizes. Got a T-Rex. And an Ankylosaurus. Is that a real dinosaur? I think so. Then I got a rock for you and a rock for me, Joy. Woohoo! So we got our prize from the dinosaur. Joy got a little guy like that and I got similar but the best prize that the gentleman gave us we each got a free cold bottle of water there's my little dinosaur oh is that so good all right joy sad to say our time here has come to an end so there you have it mr. Rex's dinosaur adventure here in Cabazon California it was more amazing than I thought it was gonna be it really brings you back to your childhood going in those dinosaurs seeing them from the outside when we were in I mentioned like hey when you look at the different ev evolutions of man that's gonna be funny when we get to the other museum well it seems what I thought was there has changed there was a time that in that museum it was a cre creationist theory museum talking about men and dinosaurs and everything happening simultaneously because God created the heavens and the earth but they got rid of it it's just dinosaurs which, which is good which is better for my opinion because it's supposed to be a dinosaur attraction exactly. leave you it a dinosaur, dinosaur attraction with other dinosaurs and that's what it was they might have been throw some some alligators and crocodiles and turtles Wait, aren't and they like reptile-esque they all connect 
Dinosaur. We even saw our hummingbird. Yes. It was cool. So I loved it. I loved playing like a kid, finding the stones, getting those free balls were very nice. Everything about this was cool. Um, since I've been a kid, there's been a bucket list of a few roadside attractions, the big ones, in my opinion. We've been to south of the border. We still have wall drugs, but this this was the third one for me. And we finally made it, so we can finally call it Mr. Rex's Dinosaur Adventure here in Cabazon, California. Been there, done that. Remember, folks, safe travels Goodies. and live life. It makes me cry. This is all that's left of the Wheel Inn restaurant. The restaurant that Large Marge sent Pee to. Now it's just an empty field. A little tear, a little tear is being shed. Right there. Or just sweat. I, I, I don't know.